In this video, I'm going to break down how to stop Gun Bunch Tight End in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if you're brand new to the channel, you've never seen any of my content before, what I do on YouTube is I break down ways to help you get better on the offensive and on the defensive side of the ball. And so if you're interested in getting better at Madden 21, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now it's completely free to hit that subscribe button and I want to just clarify really quickly that about 40% of the people that are going to be watching this video from the research that I've done shows me that only 40% of you are actually subscribed. That means 60% of you guys, yes, 60% of you guys that are watching this video have not subscribed yet. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And also we upload four tips and tricks every single day. So you might want to hit that notification icon. That way you don't miss one of these important uploads. I upload videos every single day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And I also stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Tonight we're actually going to be starting an hour early. We're going to be streaming at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time due to the fact that we're doing our Xbox One CFM draft. So if you haven't uh, signed up for the Xbox One CFM and you'd like to see if I have any spots left, it is a $5 entry fee, but go ahead and shoot me a text. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description um, if you need to pick it up after this video. Okay guys, so I want to go over what I believe to be one of the best plays in Madden, and that is this Gun Bunch tight end PA boot over. Now a lot of people are switching to this, a lot of people saw uh, Kane's, you know, the really good Madden player basically run this pretty much every single play, and the reason why this is so hard to guard is because you can put that tight end on a delay fade, and you can basically roll out with your quarterback, and as you're rolling out, you can easily uh, release the tight end and then hit him you know, late in the play if you want to do something like that. The other thing that you can do with this play is not only do you have that little tight end, um, that tight end delay fade, which is really good against man coverage and zone coverage, you have play action blocking, which is the best type of blocking that you can get. And you also have relatively simple reads. All the reads are going one direction, which is really, really nice. So if they play something like a cover three, you know, or different things like this, you're going to see that this really does a good job. As you can see right here, you can hit your crossing route. You can also hit um, your post route over the top. Let's say that they, you know, they might be playing some type of cover two or something like that. And you'll notice that this post route here uh, is also really, really effective. But a lot of very effective routes within one play. So I want to go over kind of how to stop it, some of the tools, some of the tactics that you can use uh, to be able to stop this very very powerful formation in madden 21 now this is primarily to just to stop this specific setup and this comes to us out of my nickel 335 wide defensive ebook so if you this is specific to this formation but if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defensive ebook it is out on sale right now you can pick it up there is a link in the description and it's the best defense in Madden it's the easiest defense to run it's the easiest defense to adjust and it's the best defense against the run and the pass because of its flexibility but also because of the personnel that you get on the field so let's go ahead and jump in so the play that I'm gonna be using to show you how to stop this is the Mike Blitz 3 I think it's the best play in the game now really quickly what we're gonna to want to make sure that we do is we're going to want to make sure that we set our curl flat drops to about 25 yards. It's going to help us a little bit with covering some of those deep crossing routes and things like that that people can do out of this formation. And if you've played weekend league at all, you've definitely seen this offense. So what we're going to do here is we're going to basically audible into Mike Blitz 3, and then we're going to press coverage. Now from there, we're going to shift our defensive line to the right. We're then going to place our user right here. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a flat zone on that um, on that right of screen defensive uh, that right of screen linebacker. We're going to then shade or crash our defensive line out, and we're going to go ahead and three red hook our defensive end on the right side. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but this helps a little bit with the run defense from this specific formation. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our linebacker on the right side of the screen here and we're going to man him up onto the slot receiver and then we're going to drop that left slot corner into a vertical hook now if you're worried about them running a simple flood concept to the opposite side then what you can also do is you can put your slot corner here into like a flat zone if you want to do that or you could even man him up 
onto circle. This is going to do a really good job against pretty much any type of flood concept that they can do on that side of the field. And now what you're going to see here is basically everything is going to be covered. You'll see here the only real thing that they might have is that post route like super, super late. And the way that you take away the post route is by simply running a cover two. So I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. Again, we're bluff blitzing the right of screen nose tack or right of screen defensive end here. We're going to place a hard flat from our linebacker. We're going to put our outside safety here into, or I'm sorry, our outside corner into a deep half zone. And then on the back side here, we're going to man up our linebacker and our slot corner on the two receivers on the right side. So relatively simple coverage setup. And what you'll notice here is basically what we're going to do is we're going to kind of sit on this drag. And then at this point, we're basically we've got everything bagged. There's really nothing that's going to be open and it's going to force them into a lot of throws right here. Now, the last little step that we're going to take here is once we've kind of initially given the illusion that we're taking away the cross here, I'm going to show this instant replay. But once we finally, once we've kind of given the illusion away that we're, you know, going to kind of take these routes away, as you can see right here, we're able to take both of them away. A lot of times what people are going to do is they're going to put their tight end on a delay fade. They're going to roll out and they're going to try to hit the tight end. Now, what I want to show you first and foremost is how to stop this without actually, um, without actually usering it. Okay, so I wanna show you that first and then we will show you usering it here in just a second. So just show this, what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to place my user into a little hook, um, not a hook zone, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna cross man him onto the crossing route just to kind of show you this play in all of its entirety of what it can do. So you'll see here they do that, they roll out, and then they're going to basically do this right here. And you notice that this three rec will basically sit right in the vicinity of where this ball is going to be thrown and will oftentimes actually make a play on this tight end delay fade. I want to show you that one more time. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to show it to you without putting without putting this guy into a bluff blitz, right? We're going to use this this zone from Zadarius Smith to just make it a little bit easier. But I want to show you, you don't need this. You, you can do it from either side. But as you'll see right here, we're just going to motion out, we're rolling out, and you see it's throwing right into it. Even though we're rolling out, even though we're rolling away from the play, it's, it's running right into conflict with the player on the, on the field. Now we show a little bit more detailed version of how to stop this in our text message membership this week because our focal play for the week is actually this bunch uh, or this three three five wide defense and we actually give you some tips as well as how to get some pressure on this as well because i think there's a, a very very easy way to actually blitz the living daylights out of this formation and be able to get some really really good pressure now again what if they you might be asking well what if they run you know some type of flood concept to the left side well if they run some type of flood maybe something like this right here right what if they run this a lot of people would ask well, you've got everybody manned up on that side of the field. And so as you can see here, it's tough to hit that consistently on that flood. And so you're going to be able to play really, really good defense. So really quickly, I want to give you the setup one more time. We're going to audible to Mike Blitz 3. From that point right there, we're going to shift our line to the right. I personally like to crash my line out, and I like to bluff blitz the right of screen defensive end. From that point, we're going to put both of our... We're going to put our, our right of screen linebacker into a hard flat. We're going to put our right of screen corner into a deep half. And then last but not least, we're going to man up our slot corner and we're going to man up our slot or our left of screen linebacker on the two inside receivers of the bunch. If you don't want to man them up, that's fine. You don't necessarily have to. All you have to do, honestly, is just have a vertical hook and then have the other one. You could have the other one in a flat zone or a purple zone. It really doesn't matter. For this specific play and what you'll notice here is that the stamp of the ball you are literally going to be able to take it all away if they try to throw the crossing route it's bagged if they try to throw the post route it's bagged if they try to throw the delay fade it's bagged if they try there's really no option for them to be able to throw and so they're going to end up having to basically scramble out of the pocket now one of the other things i want to show you really quickly here as a little bonus setup is a preview of what we break down now this is simply a just a simple blitz here but what we're going to do is we're going to kind of take advantage of the fact that they might be getting you know used to having good protection and all that stuff so we're just going to blitz this cornerback right off the edge and you're going to notice that if they try to roll out it's going to be an instant sack of the quarterback so if they're 
keeping that play action on a lot, you can always kind of mix in that corner blitz right off the edge, and it does a really, really good job of locking this offense up. So this has been how to stop the bunch tight end in Madden 21. It's one of the best offenses. It's probably the most popular offense right now, specifically in weekend league. I saw a lot of this this last weekend. But if you want to get the full nickel 335 wide defense, you can pick it up in the description of this video. And I also wanted to let you know that this week we did a 55-minute, yes, 55-minute breakdown of the nickel 335 wide defense and how to use it and why it is so effective in our text message membership. Every single week I break down full schemes in our text message membership and it's completely free for you to sign up for that literally all you have to do is just pull out your cell phone and send me a text message my number is 812-216-3644 it's in the top left hand corner of your screen it's also in the description of every single video that i do so if you want to send me a text message then what i can do is shoot you a playlist that is privated to only people who have texted in and it has those full schemes in it we're adding the nickel 335 wide this week in the past we've broken down the big nickel over g the split close the y off trips pats the a slot offset along with many other plays and formations and schemes these are full schemes these are very in-depth and they're very very effective so i'm really excited to share this with you this week so make sure to text in you don't want to miss this nickel 335 wide video i guarantee you that it will take your defense to a whole new level in madden 21 I want to thank you for watching this video and if you have not already subscribed yet I'm going to go ahead and ask you one last time to subscribe and make sure to text in so that you can get that free 55 minute nickel 335 wide breakdown we'll see you on our live stream tonight at nine o'clock p.m eastern time